Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> Your ass better call somebody. <laughs> I had to. It was necessary. I don't think I've done that in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are tuned in to Tough Talks with Tilly at the block. Oh man, week six happy of 420. Happy 420. Yes, man, of course. I have my blunt on deck ready to go. So, All right, so you're talking to two of the lavish in the crew. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We do what it do. We are here to talk about combat sports or at least we could say it's our week in review. So, without further ado, <laughs> without further ado, well done. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, I was saying, I was gonna say without further ado because I thought you were done. I turn it over to you so we can have some more fun. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, was a, it was a good week of wrestling. Yes. Once again, not being able to have crowds yet and just goddamn fucking virus. Week six of the intermittent, um, the, what's it called? The, the, it's not lock, it's a, not a lockdown. It's a social quarantine. distancing. It's a quarantine. Yeah. We're quarantined. So basically our travel has been limited to essential travel only so groceries prescriptions and doctor's appointments and that's not even dental appointments that's just legit like if you're on the verge of dying going to your doctor 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 appointment like wow i i isn't that a disrespect to all other practitioners though like no, no not at all it's like okay no, you just they, they know they're not <laughs> what do you mean i think you'd have to be a real doctor to fix someone's mouth to go up all up in the mm 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 mm. Listen, if somebody if so, if somebody is uh, if you're in a restaurant right mm-hmm. and you're and you're a dentist yeah and uh, somebody uh, starts like going into like anaphylactic shock right uh, and and you hear somebody say is there a doctor in the house they mm-hmm. don't need you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tilly Graves. <laughs> uh, you know it's me, Blocker T. <laughs> uh, oh, damn. He just went it's there. It's not hard to be a dentist. I'm just saying. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not essential. Oh, my goodness. I don't know, man. Like I said, like, I, I guess... My experience is different. I'm going by my experience, of course. Like, I remember I couldn't inhale, like, I couldn't do a sharp inhale with my teeth closed. And I got that shit fixed by a dentist. Meanwhile, doctors took oh, sure. several years to figure out what's wrong with me. So it's like, you know. They're, they're different. They're different fields. Of course. Of course. Def- sure. Definitely. Speaking of doctors, or former doctors, uh, we're going to transition to Kane, which we haven't seen in a while. And then we're going to transition to something else relevant to WWE, like Drew McIntyre size relevant to Canes. And then, and then we're going to say the United States champion Andrade confronted WWE champion Drew McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> just wording. It was wording. I honestly, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. I want to dive deeper into the realm of WWE, but I think the closest I can get is just fucking with them on Twitter. Like yeah, it's know. like you know, and I don't mean, and I don't mean saying disrespectful things in order to deteriorate the integrity of your character or psychology. I mean just. Like, responding to your tweets with ways that make you want to respond to my tweets and then continue where I left off about two or three years ago where I was hijacking WWE TV with my tweets. (laughs) (laughs) I will continue to talk about how the crowd should not hijack the show. (laughs) 
No, I I get it. No, and honestly, and in 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 agreement with that, um, I've noticed and appreciate the quality of the content that's been provided since there has been no audience to focus on or worry about. And you can't tell me, you can't tell me that Vince isn't happy as a pig and shit because of all the money he's saving putting on shows in buildings he already owns. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, see. He's losing a lot of money. Yeah, but he's also um, I saving. Think, I think the people who might be happy right now are the writers and some of the performers who don't have to worry about crowds doing the exact opposite from what is being, like, you know, just deciding to be the good guy and deciding to. Oh, I never. The bad guy. I never did that when I hijacked the show. I just like literally had conversations with them about the show and the goings on and, you know, like yeah. kind of <laughs> calling things to the effect of hearing. <laughs> I remember there was this one show and I, I kid you not where I heard someone in the back, in the, in the truck, there was someone in the truck responding to some of the shit that I was saying. They were so back. <laughs> and they were talking over the live shit, but, um, Oh man, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, so yeah, no. Um, this Drew Drew's getting a lot of like they they've just thrust him into the into the limelight. He's, he's the face of the company now, man. That's the you know the, the heavyweight champion is the face of the company. Um, yep. So yeah, I mean they he is you know getting faced with lots of opponents and beating the fuck out of them. Uh, his match that we'll talk about later in the review is fucking amazing uh, but yeah the, the opening of the show was, was even a, a big shine for him too which is awesome mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all right yeah like i mean the, the dark match that they brought to light on the show kind of surprised me and i'm going back to last week again oh. Yeah, no, I'm going back to I'm going back to last week. I said like the dark match that they brought to light kind of surprised me because like we haven't seen Show in anything active in a while. So, except for yeah, his, I mean, that was to promote the new show. I was about to say, I was about to say, except for his new show, the Big Show show, which you can see on Netflix. <laughs> tag him, tag the Big Show because you can see the Big Show show on Netflix. Oh man, I, I still, I still yet to be able to watch it, but I don't know. Like the transition, you see, you see a lot of, a lot of superstars transition from. Oh my goodness, from the ring to acting. I guess he decides to skip the the big screen, but he's been on a couple of big screen movies. I mean, The Big Show show? Yeah. Oh. It's WWE Studios releasing through Netflix. Okay. Um, It's, you know, it's them testing waters in different areas other than their own network. Uh, Mm. This was not a thing where, you know, some Netflix executive was like, you know, this Big Show, he would make a great um, dopey father in a sitcom. Uh, it, it is very much the WWE saying, hey, we got the big show. It could be the big show show. And going from there. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it, I, you know, I'm happy big show got a payday. Uh, but that show looks god awful. And uh, that Netflix, I don't think it's going to want a second season of it. Bad Netflix. Newspaper on the nose. Bad. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I, think that's, I think that's what they're saying to WWE Studios. Oh, man. Netflix is the one with the newspaper and they're like... Oh, my goodness. I... This is why they put their nose in it. Like, hey, this is why the Marine movies suck. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, make something good. They had a couple of good ones. They had a couple of decent ones. I can't remember the names of them right now, so I guess they weren't that great. I never said yeah, they I were mean, stellar. None of, none of them except for the first one made it to theaters. No, not the. I don't mean the Marine. The Marine made it to theater, theater? Uh, I mean, yeah, like. I mean, like, the WWE Productions have made a few good movies. I just... Oh, maybe. Yeah, I just can't. I, I loved, I loved the, I, I wish they would have done a movie, um, that, uh, that was about, it was that, uh, river, what was that wrestling thing, that old school wrestling, uh, remember that TV series they did? Uh, uh South... Southbound and Down? No, 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 no. Oh. That's a, down. Eastbound and down, yeah. But that's not wrestling. That's uh, not, that's baseball. Uh, <coughs> fuck, what was it? Uh, WWE, so... Uh, We're about to get the answer for you. While he looks that up. Yeah. I'll let you know that... I have to start talking about advertising spots here. Like, I was about to do a promo for the coffee that I'm drinking, then I realized they're not promoting me. <laughs> so. Southpaw South Regional Wrestling. So. Was a YouTube uh, series that they did. And it was awesome. Uh, okay. So um, he had to look that up because it was amazing. If, if you guys haven't seen that, if anybody hasn't seen that, you have to go watch it. Uh, it they did two seasons of it on YouTube, and it just stars all the wrestlers that are. Okay. And it's fucking incredible. Alright, alright. Maybe I, sh I should definitely check that out. Also, Renee Young was at, it was like at her hottest in that fucking character. Noted. Noted. Alright. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> hey, hey, say what has to be said. I'm um, just trying to figure out here now. Canadian Pride. Yes, of course. Don't. I used to go to school down the street from her when she was at working at the score. Oh damn! Yeah, man. Like I think we we've cro we crossed paths a couple of times, but like I didn't really know. Like I saw her, and I'm just like, oh okay. And then I saw her on TV. I'm like, no fucking way. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then um, when she was doing WWE aftermath, I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if? And then she was on um. Another WWE show, and then I'll be like, oh, it would be amazing if... And then she was in the WWE, and I was like, oh! What yeah, if... Commentating <laughs> on NXT. Yeah. Yeah, so... That was cool to see, like, you know what I mean? Like, again, a stone's throw away, and... Things are happening, so... Maybe this is just... A precursor. <laughs> a precursor. <laughs> Alright. Um... I swear she's got more tattoos now. But um, Asuka oh. defeated Ruby Riot in the Women's Money in the Bank qualifying match. And I really like the concept of this year's WWE Money in the Bank. I don't even know that yet. You don't know what it is? I don't know what that is. But it, you said, uh, maybe I missed that part of SmackDown. You might have missed it. You might have missed it. I don't, I don't, Did they talk about it on SmackDown? I, I don't even... I think it was Raw that we... I think it was an exclusive... I, I got an exclusive from the from the missus. Okay, I'm going to check on WWE's YouTube video. You keep talking. Okay, so Asuka defeated Ruby Riot in, the, in uh, the Women's Money in the Bank qualifying match. Uh, did, you, did you watch this match? I didn't, actually. I was working oh, in the okay. studio. Uh, it was a good match. It was a really good match. I, I mean... Um, Like, this screenshot kind of, it looks dope. Like, it kind of exemplifies what I think, the, what you were talking about with how intense the match was. Oh, yeah. Very, very intense. Uh, fucking Asuka, the, I, the, the gimmick, it's not, like, new, new anymore, but it's still new. Uh, the, her, it, of being just an anime villain Did is, she? like, the greatest thing ever. 
Did she do the thing again? Did she do the? Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Okay, so now I'm just jumping up on the uh, the barricade and dancing and like saying like 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 like. Uh, and then um, just yeah, she just fucked up and amazing. I love that. <laughs> That's she's great. Crazy. She's crazy. That's she's great. Absolutely insane, and it's just the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Uh, yeah. fo- followed up, we got Alistair Black defeating Oni Lorkin. I have his WWE Supercard card, and I didn't know who the hell he was. Then all of a sudden, here he is on WWE TV. Like, okay, I see Oni what Lorcan. you're doing. Oni Lorkin. Yeah, yeah you, you knew about Oni Lorkin. He's been on NXT for a long time, killing it. Yeah, no, but like, I never knew about him until I saw his WWE Supercard, and then I saw him on NXT. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, who the fuck is this Oney guy? Like, Oney? I've never Oney. seen... I can tell you at the end of the show, at the end of the, the, the Raw breakdown, or I can tell you right now. Okay, well, since uh, Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch addressed the future woman of future winner of the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, who will have to fight? Have to fight. Who will have to f- be fighting all the way through WWE headquarters to the roof? <laughs> Bro. I heard that shit and I marked. What do you mean they're gonna be fighting? Th- Yo! Uh, where did they even see all the, the news? Or the, the, I, I don't even. I, I think it was on Google News or something like that. Like I said, I was just I was down here and the missus is like, the missus shouted down to me and like, what? Yo. Like, they're fighting through W, from what I heard, and, like, she reviewed the resource. She, like, I was just like, yo. I said, no, you're joking. And she said, yeah. I said, all right, cool. That is the most intense idea ever. No, because I said, oh, I wonder how they're going to do it at the Performance Center. And she's like, they're not. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, they're going to be fighting at WWD head- WWE headquarters. <laughs> Confirmed, right? Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. WWE Money in the Bank will be fought at WWE headquarters and will be contested within the building to the top. To the top, bro. Like, we. Monumental. It is monumental. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's un fucking believable. I like I could like I I heard it. I was just like, no way. Okay, like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is going to be fucking unbelievable. Oh, yeah. So that's one month from yesterday. Yep. Oh, God, okay. Yep, yep. Oh, God. Yep, they have a whole month to, con- like, like. Well, they've already filmed stuff on the roof, apparently. Okay. So apparently they've already filmed like a bunch of money in the bank. Wow. Oh my god, that's fucking amazing. That's going to be super <sighs> hype. I I I believe it. I believe the hype. Believe the hype. This year's money in the bank. Oh man. You know what? I think that should be the next one Toronto gets. Money to- in the bank. Toronto should get a money in the bank. That'd be dope. 
They'd be they'd be hard pressed to fight it in the CN Tower. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. It's just strung on top of the CN Tower. They gotta oh. fucking climb it King Kong style. Oh man. But no, we haven't had a money in the bank yet, so I think we should get that. Hint hint wing wing nudge nudge. You know what I mean? For those of y'all who listening. But um Yeah, I'm yeah, uh, speaking on the money in the bank container uh oh continuum. Uh, Shayna yeah. Baszler, what a beast. Defeated Sarah Logan via match stoppage in a Money in the Bank qualifying match. And basically, she just walked in, from what I heard, walked in, stomped her arm, basically broke it from what it looked like. And then yeah. she couldn't continue, so she won. Yeah. So, well, and it was fucked up because the, the announcer, uh, Greg Hamilton, fucked up and said that, uh, that Sarah won by DQ mm. but the even the commentators were like uh that doesn't seem right I think she probably wins by I mean that was heinous but she probably wins by match stoppage um and yeah it was just it, it, it was a brutal move yeah she does yeah. she know the thing where you put their arm over their head and like against the uh mat and then you stomp on it she yeah. did that but like running and it looked really bad yeah, from what, like I said, from what I heard, it appeared as if there was some severe damage to the arm done in that move, so, yeah, you know, here's hoping that... I think that was writing her off TV because she was released. Yeah, yeah, probably, because... Yeah, yeah, because she's okay, like, it, it was, it's in... in for as a shoot, it didn't. You know, there's no injury, okay. uh, but that's definitely the way you write her off TV and make it. So it's like nobody's like, "Hey, why isn't she even on TV in a while?" Ah, just like the whole stairs to the head of Matt Hardy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but AEW just picked up a wealth. Yeah, so I mean, they're gonna pick up a few people for sure, um, but I don't know if they're making enough money right now in this lockdown to pick up a bunch of people who were let go by WWE because they're not making enough money during this lockdown. You know what I mean? Ooh, excuse me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. But contingencies. Oh, yeah, but they will get them eventually. Yep, contingencies. And, I mean, my boys Cash Wheeler and uh, Dax Harwood are uh, are definitely going there. <laughs> The greatest new names ever. And I just say that for a minute. The Revival becoming the Revolt is genius. Because uh, oh, then they can still have hashtag free the Revolt. Um, and their new names being Cash Wheeler, formerly Dash Wilder, and Dax Harwood, formerly Scott Dawson, are amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's a dope. They're even more porn starish than they were before. That's a dope turnaround. <laughs> uh, so do they? They still can't. Can they use top guys? Oh yeah, they can call themselves top guys. They, I think they trademarked like top guys. Say yeah, for, uh, ft hashtag ftr, uh, and uh, the revolt. Uh, and a couple other things, but they 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 got to like they were able to copyright a bunch of the stuff that they used in WWE. Mm, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Very good. Came out on top. Yeah. All right. Speaking of on top, because he's jumping off the top rope. Austin Theory defeated Akira Tozawa, who was the one jumping off the top rope in this image. Yeah, and uh, Jared the King Lawler pull, unfortunately pulled a bit of a Jim Cornette on commentary. No. Yeah, and uh, when uh, Akira Tozawa did a senton bomb on Austin Theory to the outside, uh, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry the King Lawler said, that looks like the ramen noodle bomb. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no. Yeah. No. No, no, you can't do that, Jerry. No, Jerry. Oh, 
no, you can't do that. It's, it's so bad. Like, understand that I am laughing at the fact that he said that thinking he would not get in trouble and not the fact that I think that's a good joke. As long as you clarify, because I was like, a little lost. <laughs> no, you were not. <laughs> that's, that is, uh, but like that, like unbelievable. Like the same way I couldn't understand how corny could possibly think he was going to get away with that fucking fried chicken line. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it just unbelievable the fact that they have not learned uh, to just shut up. Like to sh- just if you think that one. Laugh at it in your head, maybe, and sh- but shut the fuck up if you want to keep your job. Because <laughs> so uh, Lawler on commentary for a minute. <laughs> I I think that might be the case. Oh man. So, yeah. So we'll see tonight. We'll see on Raw tonight because that's you know it's, it, we're a few hours away from that. <laughs> yep. Yes, we are. And speaking of what we might see on Raw, we have Angel Garza defeating Tehuti Miles. Tehuti Miles. What a name. Uh, what, a what name. a great name. <laughs> That's awesome. So they uh, really built up this uh, this new stable of, uh, I, I guess it's just, I don't know, what, maybe they should be called the beautiful people. Uh like, because it's just three killers. They're all amazing in the ring. Uh, they all are definitely, definitely look like they're the the, the primped up ones, right? Mm. Uh, and wow, did they all like make their mark tonight? This would be the a great start to a, uh, a a stable if the main event didn't necessarily go the way it went. <laughs> Which we will get to after we talk about. Nia Jax yes. defeating Kyrie Sane in the Women's Money in the Bank qualifying match. Yeah, yeah. Jax is back. Yeah, da- Jax is back, and she's got the uh, Nia later uh, as her new finisher, that, uh, which is. That, like, what did you say? Sorry, I was gonna say, is that a link? Is there a link to that? Like, I have to see that because, like, the pun is it, it's it's punchy. It's on point. The pun yeah, is on, on point. point. It is. Uh, probably in the, in the, in the thing up top. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, you do the talking, I'm gonna see if I can scan through and see this. Yeah, it's, uh, it starts around 2, uh, 15-ish. Um, but yeah, so it's basically, uh, it's kind of like Paige's old finishing move, but, you know, amped up a bit. Uh, ooh, big Samoan drop. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this was, it was basically a squash match. Kyrie got, you know, blasted. Kyrie came up did a couple drop kicks to her stomach and then got, uh, the annihilator done oh. to her. Um, and yeah, that was, that was it. Fucking, uh, Naya goes on to the women's money in the bank match. She's, she's toned up too. Don't yeah. Her hair. Wow, maybe we should watch some of these and see what the. Oh no, I'm not gonna throw my hair. That sucks. <laughs> Nia looking better than ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's she's killing it, man. Nia is Nia. I'm very happy she's back. Uh, she's. I just now I can't stop thinking about these the money in the bank matches and what they're gonna look like because that's fucked up. Oh, buddy. I'm telling you, like there's no a, there's no end to what they could do. I can't believe I found this out during the like this is <laughs> like this is genuine reaction, ladies and gentlemen. So it st- it stunned me through like I can't. I anytime we talk about one of these matches, I can be like, but the roof though, like the roof. And, and it's suspended. Like that's insane. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, and apparently Taco Bell and Uber Eats fucked up our uh, our 420 order. So we're oh, man, yep, we're gonna have to uh, <laughs> get that fixed up. I didn't see the annihilator. Just, sorry, just one second. Oh yeah, no, don't worry about that.
Jeez, one more time. Okay. Um. So, uh, let's just see here. What 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 part were we at? Sorry. Uh, we th- I was just talking about the Annihilator. I had to replay it three times because it was just boss. Oh, I know, yeah, it's, it's great. It's a damn good move. Gorilla Press uh, slammed someone into a Samoan drop? Ew. Yep. Ew. Yep. By the way, make sure they double your order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You right. know what I mean? Like, something like that. You know what I mean? I, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I would have sounded exactly like my dude in the background. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, so that's that's what happened with, with, with Kyrie and Naya. Um, yeah. And then... Yeah, let's go to the next part. Yeah, NXT Women's Champion Charlotte Flair addressed Io Shirai. Yeah, so the, I liked this promo. Uh, it put um, it put my girl uh, uh, Rhea Ripley over big time because she talked about how you know Rhea was a huge challenge and all that. Uh, and then put that she plans to run through the rest of the division and stuff. Now, my problem with this is, like, it, A, she didn't really address EO very much. She kind of just brought up EO at the, like, in a, a little bit near the end. And then she didn't even finish on EO because she started talking about, um, what's her name? Uh, Mia Yim on the next night on the NXT, which was, like, I, I don't know if that's going to get its own segment because it was a pre date package. But, like, I don't know. She seems to be overlooking EO. Hopefully that means EO's going to win because I would love EO Shirai to be champ. Mm. Um, but I, I just I thought this should have been on NXT rather than on Raw. Yeah, I think it's another attempt for them to balance the, or bring them parallel. Parallel? Maybe. It might also just be Vince wanting Charlotte on Raw. I'm not ready to give her up yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's never given anyone up that he uh, didn't want to. No. No. Oh, man. This picture does not look very well, very flattering for anybody. But um, Bobby Lashley defeats <laughs> No Way Jose, who looks like he's <laughs> cupping Bobby Lashley. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he like... does. He's, he's coughing a feel on, uh, oh, on that big steroid titty. It looks um, like a steroid titty. I'm sorry, Bobby. It like, is a you know steroid I mean? titty. Like, I appreciate the fact that you were in the military and all of that shit, but you didn't fight yeah. for my freedoms. Anyways. <laughs> and, and we all, and we know the U.S. military uses steroids. Seen Captain America? You know what I mean? That's no... Tr- like, that's exactly. Exactly. Straight up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, it, it, I don't know. It's just, uh, this was a good match overall, I guess. Um, it, mostly, it was just Lana... It, distracting and annoying Bobby Lashley while Bobby beat the shit out of poor No Way Jose on his way out the door. Mm. Um, yeah, he got the boot too, didn't he? Oh, yeah, boy. Mm. Uh, as, did, as did Lana's real husband. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, this was just... I don't know. This, this It just happened. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming something like this is going to happen again tonight. Uh, maybe that person will also get the boot. Maybe this is how they're telling people they're fired, is they're getting a match with with, uh, with Bobby. Um, but, yeah. Your wife uh, and your job. You're fired. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. That's terrible. Exactly. That's terrible. <laughs> it is bad. It's really bad. Yeah. All right, we got the Viking Raiders defeating Ricochet and Cedric Alexander, who would make a fantastic high-flying team. Oh, yeah, they even had matching gear uh, in this match. Uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, this is a, a good match overall. It was uh, – actually, they gave it a good amount of time. I think it was about 10 minutes. Um, and, yeah, they put on a show. Ivar and Eric definitely came out the winners this means that they're going on to face uh, our boys, the uh, the Street Profits, who had a little segment right after this, which killed me because they were cracking jokes about, uh, like, just dropping, like, random facts about Vikings um, and doing the, the more you know and thumbs up into the camera. 
And as they're doing that, fucking Bianca Belair just shuts them both up and gets them both of like, listen, you need to stop fucking around. You need to go get that smoke and like focusing them in. And yes, cause she's right. like, she, cause she literally goes, she's like, when's the last time you beat the uh, Viking Raiders in the ring? And they both start looking at each other and start counting on their fingers. They're like, uh, she goes, never. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, so how are you going to talk like this, clowning around if you ain't never beat them? <laughs> Oh man! And then she like gets their ass in gear, and I was like, "Yes, this is dope. This is a, this is gonna be awesome. She's gonna be great in ring and great fucking on the stick managing them. Like this is gonna be perfect." This is dope. This is dope, and it puts. And I'm sorry to bring it. You know me. I always have my cultural perspective on this, and it you makes racist. it makes us look good. <laughs> you you know know I mean? It makes us look good. Like you know what I mean. Like she doesn't look like she doesn't look like a bitch. She looks like a boss. You know what I mean? Yeah, she know she looks like a gangster. She looks yeah. like a straight like for real. Like, no, get, get shit done. Yes, exactly, exactly. Like straight up. Although the street profits kind of look like I don't know, man. The street profits, like I said, I'm down with them still. You know what I mean? They 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 can catch like they 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 get the smoke. <laughs> they get oh the yeah, smoke. no, they're great. They're amazing. Yeah, man. All right, and then. Closing off the show, I believe it's WWE yep. champion Drew McIntyre defeats United States champion Andrade in a champion versus champion match with Seth Rollins attacking Drew McIntyre after the match. Yeah, so I was really excited at the prospect throughout this show of the storyline they were building of like this faction rising against Drew McIntyre. <laughs> and then they threw it all out the window. Mm. Um, they're they're still a good faction now, but they are nowhere near that title picture because Seth Rollins is near that title picture. Um, so you know, I think I don't think Seth is going to be the one to take the title off of Drew necessarily. Um, but I do think they're going to have a, a feud that lasts a little while, um, just because like the nature of how good Seth Rollins is and the fact that he's a bad guy right now against. Drew, who is an incredible face right now, is going to be. They'll go for like at least a couple pay per views. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I see that. I see that. Um, but who do you think they're going to pull out of the woodworks to actually challenge Drew or Seth? Like, who do you see coming out of the top of the rivalry? Well, out of the Seth and Drew one, I think Drew comes out of the top. Um, but I think. After that is, poof. I mean, after that's anyone's guess. It really depends on when that feud ends. Um, if that feud ends remember in, me. what'd you say? I was gonna say before you before you give me your prediction. Remember, yeah. you called the Strowman versus Wyatt match a year in advance. Yeah, before Strowman was back in the picture. Before Strowman was even in the title picture. And you didn't. Uh, and you even called the title that he was gonna win. So, yeah, he did. <laughs> so um, uh, that's a really good question. Um, we can revisit. I'm trying that. to think. Of, yeah, I think we should revisit it next week. Give me some time to think about it because I got to think of like who he has history with, who would be an interesting story, all that kind of stuff. The ones that I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I'll, I'll come back to that. Okay, I'm 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 not entirely sure, but I I don't remember seeing his name on the chopping block. Is Jinder still in the picture in the WWE? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? Never. <laughs> hey, Never. If, if you could take Never it off again. of Randy, if you could take it off of Randy, no, no, if, anyone can take it off Randy. I don't know if anyone can all, you, all, all you have to do to get it off Randy is promise him Thursdays off. <laughs> well, I guess now Fridays. <laughs> Fridays? But, like, if you just, like, promise him, like, that he only has to work one in every three of whatever night he's supposed to work, he doesn't want the belt. He'll go home and RKO his kids into the pool. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, just straight up. Anyone can beat Randy. Just offer him time off. 
That's great. I ain't even mad at that, though. I ain't even mad at he that. He wouldn't even be mad at that. He'd be, if, if anybody tweets that clip to Randy Orton and says, yo, you hear Teeley talking shit about you on this podcast, he said this. If, if Randy Orton bothered to listen to it, which he wouldn't, but if he bothered, he would literally go, I mean, yeah, it's a, I would absolutely love some more time off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. That's accurate. He's like, this, this quarantine thing is the greatest thing that's ever happened to my wrestling career. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine how many of these wrestlers are loving it right now? Ha-ha, Vince, you can't make us work. <laughs> chilling. Chilling. <laughs> chilling. Maxing and relaxing. Stacking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. The 1916. Jesus. Like, is that a... And that's a vertical DDT. That's a hammerlock vertical DDT almost. That's almost yeah. a hammer, that's No, it's a half Nelson DDT. Yeah, it's savage. God damn, it doesn't give you enough time to embrace, brace for impact. No, I love that move. Oh, my gosh. I saw it again. Something that I saw on Supercard before I saw on WWE. Like, I know he was doing it, but I never yeah. saw it. And then, um, my first time I, I, no, I must have seen it before then, but the, one of the most memorable times I saw it was when, um, he hit Gargano on the flipping entry ramp. Yep. And that yep. was, that was just fatal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they wrote, that wrote, that wrote Gargano off TV for like a month and a half. Yep. <laughs> yep. It was insane. Yeah, man. So, um, Finn Balor defeats Fabian Eichner. Whew. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, once, uh, by the, by way of the DDT you mentioned there, uh, nice. yeah, he, uh, he crunched, uh, F- Fabian Eichner with that. He also, uh, took out Marcel Bartel on the outside, mm-hmm. uh, sending a very clear message to Walter, uh, that he is not to be fucked with. Nope. Um. And I'm very excited for him versus Walter. That's going to be so fucked up. <laughs> like, I need to know when that match is happening. Like, I need them to hurry up and explain that. Yeah. Like, hey, you just give me the date. I will. Yeah, I will. I will. But just give me the date for that match. I will set it aside. I will do nothing else that day. I will smoke all of the marijuana. And I will <laughs> get. I will drink all of the proper 12. Proper 12. And I just want to watch that fucking match. Like, holy shit. That is a fucking going to be a banger match. It's going to bang still. Might be match of the year. And Finn's going in too, man. Finn's taking, like, he's taking no prisoners. Yeah, he even fucking, he went after, he fucking uh, challenged uh, Velveteen Dream later that night. Yeah, yeah, Velveteen Dream. (laughs) We'll talk about that. Velveteen Dream, uh, I'll even talk about it now, whatever. Velveteen Dream's there just doing his talking thing, and then all of a sudden the camera pans to the left, and you see Finn Balor looking with the most disapproving glare. Like, yeah. like he would have said, dare. like he would have dropped an <laughs> end bomb if it was camera appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Finn Balor looked at Velveteen Dream like Velveteen Dream dropped an end bomb, <laughs> but their races were flipped. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is exactly the look. That was the look. I'm there. I'm looking. I'm just like, yo, what? Finn Balor looked at him like, what did you just call me? What? Exactly. And that was actually, the look what, on his face. The exact yeah, look. And, actually, and in reality, what it was was, what did you just not call me? Yeah. Because he he was pissed that he said the words, uh, one of the greatest NXT champions of all time. Yep. And didn't mention his name and i'm like that is so gangster finn is the man oh my goodness that was finn is like denzel washington an american gangster he just fucking (laughs) walks up and shoots a motherfucker in the middle of the street and then goes back to fucking drinking his cappuccino yeah yeah playing with his legos so now we have the dream versus (laughs) the prince this next week baby this week Oh, yeah, this week. Sorry, this, I meant next week from the show. Next week from the show, but this week yeah. on NXT. Speaking yeah. of NXT, we got Zia Lee defeated Alia. Who she got R-T it, dot girl. RT dot girl. RT dot. RT dot. Uh, uh, what are we calling her? The bougie superstar. RT dot missus. The bougie T dot. Bougie. <laughs> uh, 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 she, she, hey, it says it in the in the 
fucking thing here. She's bougie. That's what she calls herself. Bougie. I don't even see it, but I'll take your word for it. Oh, the bad bougie. The bad blood. No, that's bad blood. Lee again battered NXT's bougie superstar. Yeah. Bougie. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Zia Lee broke Aaliyah's nose in a previous contest last year. Damn. You got yeah. free. Like, she got free racial. She got free facial <laughs> reconstruction yeah. surgery out of that. So. Hell, yeah. Maybe not free, but, you know. It was probably free. You know. You know Vince hooked her up. Hey, oh, yeah. You know Vince hooked her up. And it, it looks good. Hey, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> I ain't mad at it at all. But yeah. Next up in the cruiserweight thing, let's get this. Akira, Akira Tozawa defeats Isaiah Swerve Scott in the NXT interim cruiserweight title tournament match. Yeah, yeah. Man. that was a good match it's, too. It was a hell of a good match. Isaiah Swerve Scott is dope. Uh, Akira Tozawa is dope as fuck. Um, they also did that weird little elephant Tasma uh, uh, promo after it, which was awesome. Mm. Uh, but yeah, great match. Uh, the, this tournament is like amazing. It's such a good idea because it's going to really showcase all of the high flyers that they have a little bit more now, and get a little bit more respect for them. Now, how would you feel being oh man, Jordan Devlin. Like you're sitting there watching week by week people competing for what you're holding yeah. on to. And you can't do a damn thing because of govern like because of the powers that be. Like you can't. There's nothing he can do. Well, hey, it's 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 an interim championship, so that means he is going to the interim title means that that champion when the other champion can defend his title faces them and that person is the main champ. Understood. So exactly. Yeah. So you know, it, it it's he he gets to look on being happy, I think, because he gets to see all these people fight for something that he just gets to sit and hold on to, and then will defend later. Mm. Uh, so I think I think it I think it works out well for everybody. Yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. It's definitely a, a showcase, and like when you look at some of the people that are coming back into the picture that were overlooked before, like it's amazing to see. You know what potential this is gonna create for those involved. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. There's, 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 you know, always things that come out of fucked up situations that, uh, especially in the WWE, like WWE writers and stuff, work best when they're on their back foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Well, we got something that kind of surprised me a little bit, but Tegan Knox defeating Raquel Gonzalez. <sighs> This surprised me big time. I really thought Raquel was gonna win this. Uh, yeah. I love Ra I love Raquel Gonzalez, um, but yeah, she uh, she was uh, what's uh, my other girl Shotzi Blackheart came out, uh, helped Tegan Knox. That was that was cool seeing her debut, um, and we'll see where this goes. I mean, I, I assume it goes to a. Uh, to a uh, Raquel Gondola Shotzi Blackheart feud. Mm -hmm. Well, my dude Tahuti is acting all booty because he got <laughs> defeated by Dexter Looney. <laughs> well, so uh, Dex, let's talk about Dexter Loomis. <laughs> uh, Dexter Loomis is terrifying. Uh, his gimmick appears to be uh, inspired by like MK Ultra type uh, vibes with that crazy psychedelic intro with just his eyes and the you know crazy shit going on, um, and I I think he is, we were talking about him a bit before the the mic went on but you know I, I think he's kind of killing it like he's he's very interesting and he's really really good at what he's doing yeah yeah he's uh, anytime. Any like I'm watching TV or anything like that, and someone could make me feel a genuine emotion. I know they're doing yeah. a good job. And this guy, like I was legitimately questioning for the whole match, what the hell was up with this guy? Like outwardly yeah. asking, what is wrong with this guy? Yeah, How what's this dude's fucking problem? Stone cold stare, you know what I mean? And like, yeah. just robotic. In kind of reminded me of 
a little bit of Jack in his robotic nature, but not as Jack as the Tekken yeah. Jack. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar, ma- like no, like Brian from Tekken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems like a murderer. Yes, yes. Something very like violent. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that he like killed somebody when he was younger and served like fifteen years. <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Accidentally. Yeah, exactly. It was only 15 years because they couldn't quite prove that he had like planned it for six months, which he had. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, speaking of plans, Finn Balor confronted the Velveteen Dream. Yeah, once again, we talked about this earlier already. Uh, this is awesome. This really cool little segment. They, they kind of, uh, Finn Balor was calling out uh, Adam Cole uh, and uh, about him being one of the greatest of all t- uh, greatest champion NXT champions of all time and Finn Balor took exception to not being mentioned every time that phrase is uttered uh, and uh, I agree with him mm. Velveteen Dream really should have thought of Finn Balor when he was talking to Adam Cole <laughs> how do you think of one person when you're talking to somebody else come on now uh, I know <laughs> Awesome. I love it. Uh, I can't wait for this match. How about you be a good how about you be a gentleman and pick Dream up at nine? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, how about you be a gentleman and pick like, the prince? How about you be a gentleman and pick the prince up on Wednesday? On Wednesday, <laughs> say around crazy. nine. I like what are you, what kind oh, of gold dust line is that, yo? <laughs> that was genius level shit. That was so good. He oh, fuck he rocked that. Mm-hmm. All right. Then following that up was the main event. Matt Riddle surprised by Timothy Thatcher as his tag team partner due to the fact that Pete Dunne was stuck in the UK. Yep. Defeated the Undisputed Era to retain the NXT Tag Team Championships. I realize, yeah. side note, The Undertaker was said best by The Fink. R.I.P. Fink. Oh, yeah, 100%. Everybody was said best by the fake. Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I was walking through the house the other day for some strange reason. I'm like, the Undertaker! <laughs> challenging, my, challenging my inner fink. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, rest in peace, fink. Keep rest in man. For sure, for sure. All um, right. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Uh, Timothy Thatcher is dope. He's another one who I wouldn't be surprised if he killed somebody. Uh, <laughs> he's a, as they described him on his way into the ring he, he may be the meanest son of a bitch in NXT oh um, man and uh, yeah he, he killed it this is a great match uh, it, you know they defended against Bobby and Roddy uh, they will move on to uh, I'm sure those uh, those big dudes that uh, debuted like last week or the week before mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um Just a very, very good match overall. It was the main event. It was uh, there's nothing like too storytelling about it because this was very much just a close off, like a kind of a, a one last rubber match after because they don't have enough people to do everything else right now. Mm-hmm. But so, great wrestling, like amazing wrestling. Yes, definitely. It was a show to watch. Definitely. Yeah. And then we have the SmackDown goings on. I'd like to also point out that these, th- some of the, my part of these stories are brought to you by WWE.com. WWE.com, where you can go to find some of these news infos, but not as lively as we deliver it to you. <laughs> Don't forget uh, Tommaso Ciampa at the end of the show. Oh, shit. My back. bad. My bad. Yes, Ciampa. T- Tommaso Ciampa was attacked by some. Buddy, who they did they don't give a name to even in this, so I, I don't I don't know who they are. Um, yeah. But yes, they attacked uh, they attacked him, and then they said tick tock tick tock in his face, uh, and the show cut off. So I mean, Champa should be leaving NXT. I don't know where this is heading. Um, is it, if this is going to be somebody new who's also going to be debuting on SmackDown or Raw with Champa, I have like, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, very strange, very cool. Um, and uh, once again, another thing that they started right now, where it's like I'm very interested to see where this is going. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, my bad. I forgot about that, but that was dope, the way they did it and everything, too. All right. Yeah. Now, on to SmackDown. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tamina defeated Sasha Banks. Yeah, I was surprised by this. yet, but there was a new episode of uh, Dark Side of the Ring on um, last week that is about Tamina's father, Jimmy Superfly Snuka, and the mysterious death of his then-girlfriend, <laughs> where you know, the prevailing theory is that he killed her and the members of the WWE um, there's a document, like I said, there's a documentary about it that just came out. If you guys want to watch it, Dark Side of the Ring, I believe it's episode five or six. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting move to have her win and move on in a in a time like that. Maybe it's to take some of the sting out of it. I don't, I don't think it does. Yeah, probably not. Not for the people who it affected. Yeah. I don't think that's a, a thing that I think that uh, I think it just kind of is a weird time to bring attention to her on TV. Mm. Well, you got to control the narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, Seamus defeated Denzel Desjardins. Looks like a big yep. boy. <laughs> of course. He sure is, and he sure did. Of course. Oh, it was one of those. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, and all the, oh. okay, am I going to have to guess what happened with the rest of these? Um, Naomi defeated Alexa Bliss, no, 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 Dana Brooke defeated Naomi. Yep, that was a shocking win. Yeah, shocking. Daniel Bryan defeated Cesaro. That was uh, not shocking, uh, but it was an impressive match, uh, really, really good match. Um, these guys, these, yeah, they killed it. Daniel Bryan and Cesaro are another, like, two people I could watch have a wrestling match every day forever. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they, they definitely put it down. And then, the crowning of the new WWE Tag Team Champions, the New Day. Yeah, they, this was, uh, this was huge, big E, really, really slammed, uh, Crushing finale. Uh, then uh, Biggie broke up the count, lifted him up, hit him with the big finish, and just whew, it was beauty. Um, he was very, very happy uh, to have those belts. He was, uh, he was, uh, you know, the hips was was moving. The, uh, the the tongue was out. He was licking those belts a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, John Morrison fucking killed it on Twitter. Uh, Johnny Morrison said, uh, I'm, I'm going to, me and The Miz are going to get those belts back, uh, and, uh, but not until they've been cleaned, because uh, I'm not comfortable with how big he is licking them. Oh, man. That's great. Oh, yeah. It was, it was good. I, I, I'm surprised uh, it was, like, I, like, that they did it the way they did it, uh, but it worked out well. Um, I, I'm another one where I'm like, okay, let's see where this goes again. Is this going to continue to be like a three-way feud? Because I think it, I think kind of think it should be. Mm. Like I think the Uso should win it next, and like if they hand them back and forth a couple times, I don't think that's a bad thing for those belts. I think it elevates them. Yeah, it, it kind of brings everybody up to a, a level plane. Yeah, exactly. Makes the tag team division awesome. Which will really piss the revival off after just leaving. Especially since they just left. All right, so we've covered the WWE and NXT. Yeah, I, I the only the only stuff I was not able to really get through um, was AEW. Now there are some, there's some really cool stuff going on over there right now. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a binge session of a bunch of them uh, because 
Apparently, Chris Jericho has been doing commentary with uh, Tony Schiavone. Oh, shit. So, that sounds amazing to me. Like, that, I'm down. Tony like, Schiavone's down. back I, I in the picture? It. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, Schiavone has been doing commentary since the start of, or since, like, I don't know, like, maybe week three of AEW. Okay. Um, but, like, yeah, they, it's, it, to see, to hear those two together would be awesome. Um, haven't heard him fuck with Tony Schiavone since Nitro days. Um, he's still, even though he's not the AEW champion, apparently he's still calling himself Le Champion. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is, it's going to be very interesting. We will do uh, next week uh, when we're talking. We'll do uh, a, we'll talk about a bunch of AEW because I'm going to watch a bunch of it. All right, cool, cool. Sounds blast. Yeah. Now- also, one one cool thing that's going to be coming up. Apparently, right. Dana White has gotten this Fight Island thing going. Um, and Dana White's going to be hosting UFC fights on an island on pay per view. Okay. Like, like fucking Mortal Kombat, dog. Like fucking Enter the Dragon. Oh shit. And it's gonna be awesome. Uh, the the cards that they're going for uh, includes Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje as the main event, which is fucking insane. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, this is gonna be very interesting times for uh, sports coming up, and we'll see what happens. UFC 249 got canceled with a week left because some fuckhead governor called the Disney executive and asked him to plead with Dana White. So, as long as those, as long as those, you know, fuckhead governors fuck around with this one, we should be on. Should be. Let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed. I want to see people fight again. Yeah, man. Like, ugh. I miss it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely something like I like to get my UFC in every now and again, you know? Yeah. I need it. I need it. <laughs> I, like, I, I'm so used to be there being a card, like, every week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just so used to hearing about it that I always tag it. <laughs> and then yeah. we get to it, it's like, oh, sorry, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, there's no UFC. Like, there's nothing. There's no UFC. There's no Bellator. There's no other MMA organizations in the world fucking operating right now and it's like fuck mm. vicious yeah the closest thing is I think there was like a submission underground like three weeks ago mm. and that's just like that's just jujitsu yeah. just but like which is which is cool too but it's not the same mm. yeah probably not yeah <laughs> I need striking. I need striking. It has to. It has to be physical striking contact. Just this. Oh man. Yeah. Well, exactly. hopefully. Well, I don't know, man. They they've canceled the uh, the Olympics. They've canceled Carabana. I doubt I'm gonna get to go to medieval times. Oh fuck. Yeah. I wanted to get drunk at medieval times so bad. No, like I'm telling you, if anything. And do mushrooms. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm God damn it. Like, I'm showing you. Like, that's still on the goal. Like, I'm still going, but if not this year, next year, or the first yeah. available time I could get there. Yeah, 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 No, we're going still. But, like, God damn it. It's going to be... Fuck. Yep. I forgot about that. Yep. Damn it. I haven't. <laughs> Guns N' Roses is going to be canceled, too. My fucking Guns N' Roses canceled this summer with Smashing Pumpkins opening. Oh, my dude. Yeah. Oh. And it's the original lineup of Smashing Pumpkins getting back together too. Everybody except for the bass player, like James E. Hawes, back in the band and shit. And I'm like, fuck. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this COVID nineteen. Coco COVID nineteen. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> bastard. Oh man. Well, I think that's it for us. I do too. I need to. Uh, we. I got. 10 minutes until 4.20 on 4.20 of 20. Yeah, and yeah. I am going to get stoned out of my skull. Yep, yep. And uh, hopefully hopefully have some uh, correct Taco Bell order show up at some point. I gotta go talk to my roommate and see what the fuck that was about. Yeah, man. All right, cool, cool. Well, get your munch on, get your crunch on, and um, yeah. we'll catch up again. Um, did I send you that track? The hook with no. the hooks on it? 
Uh, I don't think so, but I will check. I might have. Double check that. And we'll, we'll, we'll okay. come back to this uh, next week. So, it is what it yeah. is, and it is what it seems. Tune in to us for the one, two, three.